Sharks have roamed our oceans for over 400 million years, surviving mass extinction and evolving into some of the ocean's most formidable predators. Yet not all sharks are as well known as the great white or the tiger shark. Some species are so rare, so elusive, that only a handful of sites have ever been recorded. Today we're diving deep to uncover the top 10 rarest sharks in the world, counting down from the least rare to the most endangered or possibly extinct. These sharks inhabit some of the most extreme and remote environments on Earth, from the deepest ocean trenches to fast-flowing rivers and coastal shallows. Some ancient species barely changed in millions of years, while others have disappeared into legend, leaving behind only a few specimens and fading records. Stick around as we reveal just how rare these sharks are, the dangers they face, and whether there's still hope for their survival. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the frilled shark. This deep-sea predator looks like a creature from another era, with its eel-like body, snake-like movement, and frilled gill slits that resemble the gills of prehistoric sharks. It's found in the depths of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, often below 500 meters, though it has been recorded as deep as 1,500 meters. Because it lives in such extreme depths, encounters with this species are incredibly rare, and most of what we know about it comes from accidental deep-sea catches. It has over 300 needle-like teeth, perfect for snaring slippery prey like squid. Despite its rarity, it is classified as near-threatened due to its wide range and elusive nature. Scientists believe its slow reproductive cycle makes it vulnerable to environmental changes and deep-sea fishing activities. At number 9, we have the Megamouth Shark, one of the most mysterious filter-feeding sharks in the world. First discovered in 1976, when one was accidentally caught off the coast of Hawaii, Fewer than 100 confirmed sightings of this deep-sea giant exist today. Growing up to 5 meters long, this shark moves slowly through deep waters, using its massive mouth to filter plankton and jellyfish. Unlike the more well-known whale shark and basking shark, the megamouth spends most of its life in deep waters and is only seen when it occasionally ventures closer to the surface at night. It has a bioluminescent-like band around its mouth, which scientists believe helps lure prey in the pitch-black depths. Because sightings are so rare, scientists still know very little about its behavior, reproduction, and overall population. Many believe its numbers are declining due to accidental bycatch and deep-sea habitat disturbances. Number 8. The Scoophead Shark is one of the smallest and rarest members of the Hammerhead family, often overlooked due to its diminutive size compared to its more famous relatives like the Great Hammerhead and Scalloped Hammerhead. Found in coastal waters of the eastern Pacific and western Atlantic, it prefers shallow, warm environments such as estuaries and mangroves, where it hunts small fish and invertebrates. Due to its limited range and specific habitat requirements, it is highly susceptible to environmental disturbances. Overfishing, both targeted and as bycatch, has severely impacted its numbers, while habitat destruction from coastal development further threatens its survival. Despite being one of the lesser-known hammerhead species, its rapid decline is alarming, and conservationists believe its population is decreasing at an alarming rate, potentially placing it on the brink of endangerment. However, due to its elusive nature and lack of comprehensive studies, the true extent of its population decline remains largely unknown. At number 7 is the Angel Shark, a true master of disguise with a flat, ray-like body that allows it to blend seamlessly with the sandy ocean floor. This ambush predator was once common in the coastal waters of Europe particularly in the North Sea and Mediterranean, where it would lie in wait to strike at unsuspecting fish and crustaceans. However, over the past century, its population has suffered a drastic decline due to habitat destruction, trawling, and bycatch in fishing nets. Unlike faster free-swimming sharks, the angel shark's bottom-dwelling nature makes it especially vulnerable to trawling, which destroys its habitat and often results in unintentional captures. Today, it is classified as critically endangered, with only a few small scattered populations remaining, most notably in the Canary Islands and select parts of the Mediterranean. Conservation efforts, including marine protected areas and species-specific protections, are underway to prevent this species from vanishing completely. However, due to its slow reproductive rate and specific habitat requirements, Restoring its population remains a major challenge for marine biologists and conservationists alike. Coming in at number 6 is the Speartooth Shark, a remarkably rare and elusive freshwater species found in the tidal rivers and estuaries of northern Australia and Papua New Guinea. 
Unlike most sharks, which roam the open ocean, the spear-tooth shark has adapted to life in brackish and freshwater environments, navigating murky, fast-flowing waters where visibility is low. This unique habitat preference makes studying the species incredibly difficult, as these waters are often remote and hard to access. Scientists have only been able to document a handful of juveniles, primarily in rivers like the Wenlock and Adelaide rivers in Australia, while sightings of adult spear-tooth sharks remain virtually non-existent. This lack of adult specimens raises questions about where they spend the majority of their lives and how their life cycle functions. Due to its extreme rarity and limited range, the spear-tooth shark is classified as endangered, with estimated population numbers below 2,500 individuals. Major threats include habitat degradation, pollution, and accidental bycatch, particularly from fishing operations that unknowingly trap juveniles. Additionally, the impact of climate change on river ecosystems poses a growing concern for the species' long-term survival. Conservationists are racing to learn more about this cryptic predator before it's too late. But for now, much of its life remains a mystery hidden within the depths of Australia's and Papua New Guinea's remote waterways. At number 5 is the Daggernose Shark, a truly unique and highly endangered species once found along the northern coast of South America, particularly in the shallow murky waters off Brazil, Venezuela, Guyana, and Trinidad. This small slender shark is easily recognized by its long pointed snout, which helps it navigate the turbid coastal waters where visibility is low. It primarily preys on small fish and crustaceans, using its streamlined body to swiftly maneuver through estuaries and mangrove-lined shores. Unlike many other sharks, the daggernose is a specialist species, meaning it has a very specific habitat preference, an adaptation that unfortunately makes it highly vulnerable to environmental changes and human activities. Over the past few decades, its population has plummeted due to intense commercial fishing, particularly from gillnets, which indiscriminately trap these sharks as bycatch. Because they have low reproductive rates, with females giving birth to only a few pups at a time, their numbers have struggled to recover. Additionally, habitat degradation from coastal development, pollution, and climate change has further pushed the species to the brink. Today, the daggernose shark is classified as critically endangered, with estimates suggesting there may be fewer than 250 individuals left in the wild, if any at all. Given its severe population decline, some scientists fear it could already be functionally extinct, making conservation efforts crucial if this rare and fascinating species is to survive. Next is the Ganges shark, which is a true freshwater predator, one of the few shark species that spend their entire lives in rivers rather than venturing into the ocean. It is native to India's river systems, particularly the Ganges, Hooghly, Brahmaputra, and Mahanadi rivers, where it has adapted to hunt in the murky, sediment-rich waters. Unlike the more well-known bull shark, which can move between saltwater and freshwater, the Ganges shark is obligate freshwater, meaning it is completely dependent on river habitats for survival. This makes it exceptionally vulnerable to environmental disturbances, as its entire range is restricted to some of the most heavily populated and industrialized regions of India. For decades, the species was thought to be possibly extinct, as it had gone largely unrecorded for much of the 20th century. However, in recent years, a handful of confirmed sightings have renewed hope that small populations still persist. Despite this, the Ganges shark faces a dire future due to the ongoing pollution, dam construction, and excessive water extraction that have severely degraded its habitat. These environmental pressures have led to a significant reduction in fish populations, which in turn impacts the Ganges shark's food supply. Additionally, it is often caught unintentionally in fishing nets and is sometimes mistaken for the bull shark, leading to further population losses. Due to these threats, the Ganges shark is classified as critically endangered, and conservationists estimate that fewer than 200 individuals may still exist in the wild. However, because so little is known about their true numbers and behavior, some experts fear the population could be even smaller. Urgent conservation measures, including habitat protection and stricter fishing regulations, are necessary to prevent this rare and elusive river shark from disappearing forever. At number three is the Pondicherry shark, a species so rare that for decades, many scientists feared it had already gone extinct. This small, elusive requiem shark was historically found in the coastal waters of India, Sri Lanka, and possibly Pakistan. But its presence has been so difficult to confirm that it remains one of the most mysterious sharks in the world. The last scientifically verified sighting occurred in the 1970s, 
and for nearly 50 years, there were no confirmed encounters, leading experts to believe that it had been wiped out due to overfishing and habitat destruction. Then, in recent years, unconfirmed reports and possible sightings began to surface, sparking hope that small, hidden populations might still exist. Fishermen off the coast of India have occasionally reported catching sharks that resemble historical descriptions of the Pondicherry shark. But without scientific verification, these claims remain uncertain. Unlike many other sharks, which thrive in deep or remote oceanic environments, the Pondicherry shark is believed to prefer shallow coastal waters and estuaries, making it highly susceptible to human-related threats like industrial fishing, pollution, and habitat degradation. Because so little is known about this species, conservationists are now urgently working to verify its existence and assess the true status of its population. Expeditions and genetic testing of market-sold shark specimens are underway to determine if any surviving individuals remain. However, without concrete data, the Pondicherry shark is classified as critically endangered, and some experts fear that if it is not already extinct, it may be dangerously close to disappearing forever. Until more evidence is found, this rare shark remains one of the greatest enigmas of the marine world. Taking the number two spot is the sharpfin hound shark, a species so rare that it remains almost a complete mystery to marine scientists. Described scientifically in 2012, this shark is native to the coastal waters of Ecuador, particularly around the eastern Pacific region, but confirmed sightings have been incredibly scarce. In fact, it has only been observed a handful of times, making it one of the least documented shark species in the world. Its exact range, behavior, diet, and reproductive habits remain largely unknown due to the lack of direct study and the limited number of specimens ever collected. The absence of data has made conservation efforts especially difficult, as scientists have no reliable population estimates or even a clear understanding of where the species spends most of its life. However, experts strongly suspect that the sharpfin hound shark is critically endangered, primarily due to fishing pressures and habitat degradation. Like many small coastal sharks, it is likely vulnerable to bycatch in commercial fisheries, where it may be unintentionally caught in gill nets and trawl nets. Additionally, its habitat off the Ecuadorian coast is under increasing pressure from human activities, including coastal development, pollution, and overfishing. Because so little is known about the population status of this shark, some researchers fear it may already be on the brink of extinction, or at the very least surviving in extremely low numbers. Finding and studying the sharp fin hound shark has become a priority for marine conservationists, as gathering even the most basic biological data is crucial to understanding how to protect this enigmatic species. Until more research is conducted, this deep sea ghost remains one of the most elusive and least understood sharks in the world. And at number one, the rarest shark in the world, the lost shark. Officially described as a new species in 2019, this shark has already become one of the greatest marine mysteries. The lost shark, scientifically known as Carcharhinus obsoletus, was identified from museum specimens that had been collected decades earlier. But despite extensive searching, no live individuals have ever been found in the wild. This means that not a single confirmed sighting of the species has been made since its initial discovery, making it one of the least documented sharks in history. The lost shark is believed to have been native to the waters of Southeast Asia, particularly around Vietnam and Borneo but its exact range remains uncertain. What makes its story so alarming is that many scientists fear it may already be extinct, wiped out before we even had the chance to study it. Overfishing, habitat destruction, and unregulated fishing practices in the region have decimated many marine species, and small coastal sharks like the lost shark are often the first to disappear, as they are frequently caught as bycatch in trawling and longline fisheries. Despite ongoing conservation efforts, no new evidence of the lost shark has emerged. And if any still exist, they remain completely hidden from human observation. Some experts hold on to hope that undiscovered populations may still be lurking in deep or remote waters, evading detection. However, without physical proof of its continued existence, this species could tragically become one of the first sharks in modern history to be officially declared extinct. Some people consider this shark to be extinct. However, the red list states that there may be as little as 40 still left in the wild. Until more research is conducted, the lost shark remains a ghost of the ocean, an enduring reminder of how fragile marine life can be in the face of human activity. From the shadowy depths of the deep sea to the murky waters of tropical rivers, these sharks are among the rarest creatures on our planet. 
Some remain hidden, waiting to be rediscovered, while others teeter on the edge of extinction. Victims of overfishing, habitat destruction, and climate change. Conservation efforts are more critical than ever. Marine biologists and conservationists are working tirelessly to study, protect, and restore these incredible species before they disappear forever. By raising awareness, supporting sustainable fishing practices, and protecting vital habitats, we can make a difference. Which of these rare sharks surprised you the most? Have you ever heard of the lost shark before today? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this deep sea adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another journey into the mysteries of the ocean.